Gil Rickings, this is Garth R.S., the Heartless Adventure, with another episode of Life is Feudal and It's on Your Own. <laughs> yes, your own. Alright, so this episode is all going to be about mining and junk. <clears throat> so, one of the primary things that we're going to need a lot of is iron. So let's go ahead and let's line ourselves up with a square. Prospect for iron, which is default, usually. And each one of these squares is two. So we're going to go four squares in every direction from that square that we're looking at. And we're going to see what we have here. We have four squares in every direction. we got no signs of iron. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So four squares in every direction. Let's see if we can find it this way. There's a lot of different ways that you can do this. This is the way that works for me. Didn't find any signs of ore, so let's go one, two, three, four this way, and then we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Prospect for iron. Four in every direction. Do, 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 do. Do not find any signs of ore. So let's go back. Two, three, four. And then we'll go one, two, three, four. This is how I narrow down different ores that I'm looking for. One, two, three, four. Actually, let's just go from right here. This will be quicker. And then we'll uh, just start working our way up the hill. Going diagonal for every time. No or One, two, three, four. Now, four also includes down. So straight down that way, four. Straight out that way, four. Straight out that way, four. Out that way, four. And out that way, four. No or One, two, three, four. We'll see if we can find it this way. And this is what I'm going to keep doing until I get more up that hill a ways. Yes, yes. Alright, I'll be back in a second. Alright, as you can see, we have detected traces of ore. Bagoosh. Now, what I was doing is because it was taking forever is I increased my radius to 16, which is 8 squares. So I'm going to take it down now to 8. Eight and see if I still get it here. Alright, I did not get it, which means it's not within eight of this spot. So let's go ahead and take the prospecting up to 12. Alright, and we take the prospect prospecting up again to 14. Actually, let's go back to, yeah, 14. Which tells me that it's probably on the outer rim somewhere around in here. Or could be straight in. That's why we're always very careful with that. Alright, so let's go up. Let's try up. Let's see if I get it now. If I don't get it now, I know for a fact that it was either left or down because I was coming from the right. All right, so we know we go back down. This is where we were before, right here. So let's go down here. A few squares. Prospect again for four, at 14. The worst case scenario, it's deep in the in the mountain. There we go. Okay, so we know we're getting closer. It, I was just telling drops this. Prospecting is a very long, very drawn out process. Uh, it takes a long time to find where your iron is unless you get really lucky. So we just dropped it down to 8. We still don't find it, which means that it's probably down this way some more or to the left. Let's go right here. Prospecting for iron at 8. As you can see, this is not a short process. Nope. So we need to go back up here. Now let's try going to the left. 
I know it's not to the right because that's the direction I came from. Prospecting for iron at eight. All right, so which means it's definitely down in the earth over here. So let's go back to right here where we were. Prospect for iron at eight. And we didn't find it. Which means that we are probably too high. Let's try this one. No, which means it's probably down inside the earth. At least 12. Yeah, it's beyond 12, so I'm not even going to dig through that. It'll take a week to find that. So, moving on to the next spot. Be back in a minute. All right, so I'm back again. <laughs> uh, I'm prospe prospecting at 8 now, and I just found this so let me go ahead and cancel that and what I'll do is this is the square I was in so what I'll do is I'll drop this water right here can I drop it there we go we'll drop this water at kind of a marking our spot this is eight eight from that so let's get this going and go one two three four and we'll try to do eight again and see if we can still detect it All right, we're still detecting it. So let's take our range down. This is definitely the process of elimination I was telling you about. So let's go to two, which means is it in the general vicinity, like right near us? No, it is not near us. So let's take it up. Let's take it up to four. All right, we're still detecting it at four, which means it's in this general vicinity. So that being said, I'm going to start digging. Oh my God, this is forever. All right, important thing you want to have when you're mining is your primitive shovel or whatever kind of shovel you have and your pickaxe. So what we're going to do is we're going to start a tunnel right here. But before we do, before we do, I am going to lower the terrain. So let's go ahead and lower the terrain. Just a couple of times, because this is totally going to make sense to you here in a second when I do it. You get some dirt on my person. And don't worry about that water over there. We're going to totally leave it. All right. Now I look down the square I'm in and raise the ground level. Now I can have a little flatter spot to stand on. Let's try to see if we can flatten this ground. The goal here is to get a fairly level and flat area because once you start your mine, you'll no longer be able to change the shape of the squares in the, that are immediately adjacent to it. All right. Yeah, that's pretty good. So let's start digging. Dig a tunnel. Now this will dig straight forward. And this is going to take a, a few minutes. So once I get it, you basically just keep hammering on this thing until it is, until it becomes a tunnel. Could take anywhere between like six and 16 wax with the pick. All right, we're gonna keep going. Got a little bit of dirt on us, not much though. Yeah, we are overburdened. So let's go ahead and with the shovel equipped, we can start dropping this down. Sweet lemons. Lemons. All right, last dirt. 
Alright, now we come back to here. And we start digging our tunnel again. Once I break into the ground, I will let you know. Mm -hmm. Alright, as you can see, we have broke ground. And I'm just going to grab myself a few apples. Because I'm freaking hungry. Shouldn't take that long to eat apple. You know what I'm saying? It should take like freaking two seconds. I also need to get rid of some of this dirt in my inventory. Oh yeah, see, I can't, I can't adjust that terrain anymore. So I have to go out one, two. Let's go right here, and let's completely empty this dirt out. Isn't this fun? <laughs> Emptying your inventory is always my, my least favorite part. All right. But this is what a mine looks like once it's got started. And you can see why I leveled this portion of the train out a little bit. All right. So now what I'm going to do is dig in that way. Um, well, what I could do here. Let's go like this. And we're going to probe and see what's here. Under prospecting. Let's see what we got. You can only probe tunnel walls, by the way. Amount of material left is 100%, and the material is dirt, I'm guessing. So let's go ahead and finish our tunnel. Tunnel, turn, dig, dig. There we go. So we're going to dig, dig, dig. Dig, 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 dig. Dig, dig, dig. Dig, dig, dig. Dig, 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 dig. And this is going to take a week. So when I get in there a little bit, I'll let you know. Mm-hmm. All right, so I am totally into the mine here in a little bit. And what we're going to find out is whether or not I've got this pretty much nailed down. <clears throat> now, remember, our last prospecting was at 4, so it was relatively close. So let's see, we search for iron. Prospect for iron at 4. We should still get our... Oh, is this it right here? Is this is this it right here? I gotta get in there and get close and look at it. Yeah. Okay. We told. I found it. <laughs> I didn't even. I missed it completely. You see this little brown flex in the stone? That is ore. So now we have ore. Yay me! I'm Ori. All right. We got 39 out of that one. Can't take that. You're overburdened. So let me get rid of some of this stuff. Yeah, totally. What well, we found ore. Man, well, that's great. I'm super excited. Super excited. Uh, don't need all that stone. Don't need that stone. You hear that sliding down the mountain? What's this? I don't even know what that does. That's weird. I don't remember seeing that symbol before. I'm concerned now. All right, so let's get back in here and do some more mining. Now, once you've been mining at it for a little bit, if you want to go ahead and probe again, <clears throat> it'll tell you how much that material is left in there. And we've only hit it twice, so. All right, 13%. So I can grab a little bit more out of that. Just a little bit more. Wait, wait. wait get. I don't want to dig a tunnel. I want to mine iron ore. There we have 78. There we go. Probably if we probe it again, we'll find that it's pretty low. But we did find iron. And that's a good thing. But we're going to need to find a little bit more than what we have. There's 8% left. So that's not too shabby. All right. Looking at our inventory, we have 117, but we are pretty much max cap. So I wouldn't want to risk doing anything else. But now that we know where iron is, we can come back and always get it later. So I'll meet you back at the crib, wherever that might be. I think it's way over there because I went really far looking for iron. Because <laughs> I figured there'd be some in this mountain. Anyway, yeah, I'll meet you when we get back to town. All right. So I'm back at the, or the furnace. And just so you know... Um, that little bit of mining I did only got me up to six. And before we can unlock smelting, this has to be 
at or around 30. So what I'm going to do now is drop this here out of my inventory so I can have some space. And uh, I don't want to, no, I don't, I can't drop that. No, I got to pour it on the ground, which I'm not going to do. That sucks. I forgot about that. Hmm. Got to think of a way that I can store this so that I don't lose it. Dropped objects. Let's see. I don't think I can put this in here. Nope. Nope. So basically what I have to do is continue to mine this crap up until... Hmm. That's frustrating. I just thought about that. Mm hmm. Hmm. I gotta get my mining up. Because I can't put this anywhere. Oh, that frust that's frustrating. <laughs> Let's try doing this. I get it. I'm gonna cheat. <laughs> this isn't cheating, I don't think. Can't place it there. You need a proper item. Ah, crap. Oh no, drops. What? I don't know where to put this iron. Uh. Because you can't drop it on the ground because then people will get mad because you can just mine it right back up. So. Hmm. <sighs> what are we going to do with that? Well, are you able to drop anything else other than that? Yeah, but this weighs 117 stone, so. That's a majority of my, my weight right there. Mm -hmm. I don't think I can store it anywhere, though, to be honest with you. Hmm. And to use the furnace, you have to be a certain... Yes. And I'm recording this because mm. this is a problem that people will run into. I would have just stopped normally, but this is something you want to seriously think about. Are we gonna, what are we going to do with iron ore? Hmm. Well, uh, let me consider this for a second, Mr. YouTubes, and I will be back momentarily. All right, so I did some looking on the internet, and it turns out that you can store iron ore, but in order to build the thing I need to store iron ore, I need iron so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to try raising the ground level right here and see what we put there all right all right looks like iron ore to me yes it's exactly right so let's uh, let's do it again terraforming raise the ground level and that gives me 57 more raise the ground level and raise the ground level. Uh, okay, so I don't have at least 30. But I can just take it and drop it on the ground like that. And he'll put it right there. Okay. So, hopefully when I come back, I'll be able to pick that up. <laughs> I'll be able to pick that up. So, until then, uh, I am going to continue mining ores until I can get my uh, mining up to 70. And I do happen to know where some copper is at right over there. So that's what I'm going to go do next. And uh, hopefully, um, in the very short, in the very near future, we'll be able to start mining. Probably tomorrow morning-ish. Yes, probably tomorrow morning-ish. Okay, so I'll be back in a minute. And as the sun rises, here comes Dropsum carrying a log. Because he likes to carry logs. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, man? Trying to stockpile logs for us. All right. Well, I've been mining uh, copper all night. I have eight durability left on my pickaxe, which is approximately down to about 10% uh, of what it should be. However, comma, boom, mining is 60, which opens up smelting. Smelting. So now we can play with the furnace. Boom! Manager smelting stuff. So here's the furnace. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the uh, a fuel source. And we're going to take the iron ore, which I never picked up because I'm an idiot. Where did that go? Is it right here? Here it is. So let's go ahead and pick up this. Terraforming lower to ground. 
Let's see what we get. Ugh, please let there be iron ore here. <gasps> please let there be iron ore here. Yeah, <laughs> all right, sweet. Okay, so basically what, what I need to do now is get some billets and feed it into the furnace. And billets is kind of like firewood, so just so you know. So let's get our let's get our sar in there. We're not probably going to need that anymore. Put it on our biceps like like a, like a good Neanderthal. And I'm going to just use one of these as he's already carried over here. Hardwood. Saw a board. Saw a billet. So let's do that. I think it'll just keep doing it. So what I want to do is... Oh, I'm overburdened. Of course I'm overburdened. Why wouldn't I be overburdened? So I just wasted that. Bummer. Get out of here, you stupid dirt. You're always causing problems. And as you can see, inventory management is incredibly important early game. Incredibly important. Incredibly important. Yes. Yes. The good news is when you drop an item on the ground, it like never despawns. So. As for right now. Well, yeah. As of right now, it, it may like despawn after 24 hours. I don't think we've noticed anything. One hardwood billet. So let's just see how heavy these things are. Hardwood billet is ten stone each. So let's just let's just let's be good let's be good with that. <laughs> let's be good with that, okay? Yeah, all right. For now, I think three is a, three is sufficient. So let's take our billets and put it in here, and our iron ore and put it in here, and then we can come over here and pick some more of our um. Iron ore back up off the ground. I'm so glad that you can just pour this on the ground like this. It makes me happy. Yeah, because I, I mined like almost 600 copper last night. Mm-hmm. I can tell you. I'm being completely honest with you here, Drops. Mm. It was unpleasant. Um, yeah, running, I could tell. Run into the mouth of the mine and then... Running back, and then running to the mouth of the mine, and then running and, and do... Oh, God. I must have dropped six, seven thousand freaking stone on the ground. That's ridiculous. Can't place it. There's no more room. Alrighty. Let's, let's bring you out of here, then. Let's try this. Alright, now let's put it in there. Alright, so let's split it. Um, let's split it 60... That's good. I'm happy with it. 60. All right. So we light on. All right. And then we're going to use some bellows. And we're going to use the bellows again. We want to get up to about 1,500. Use the bellows again. One more bellows. Mmm. And now we're going to click the melt. You cannot smell anything. What? Does it have to be higher than that? It might have to be higher than that. Let's use the bellows one more time. Oh, it's got to get hot first. Ugh, come on! Why is it not heating up? Because you haven't turned it on. I did turn it on. But I'm pumped. <laughs> hey, baby. How you doing? <laughs> Why is it not heating up? Because you didn't turn it on. I did turn it on. <laughs> I oh, did it's gonna go on forever. <laughs> it's not it's not heating up. What am I doing wrong? I keep doing stuff wrong. Ah, my god. Maybe it needs a little bit for the Oh my god. Now I know I have these things. It takes a little bit for everything to heat up. Yeah, well it's not heating up. And I'm mad at it. I'm mad at you, stupid furnace. It's the kick button. Mapped. Why is it not melting? It's not even getting hot. Oh, wait, now it is. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> okay, I was like, it's not even moving. It's, it was usually, it usually does that faster. And it might have been because I was doing copper last time. Yeah, that's probably That might have been. Which means I'm going to need more billets.
Barely. Well, that's a good thing I did, decided to go and chop wood. Oh, gosh, yeah. I'm so happy for you to do that. You don't even know, bro. If anybody ever says that drops him ain't good for nothing, I'll say he's that's a damn lie because he helps me out all the time. Look at him go. He's a little wood chopper. He is. Well, see, the problem with this is like when you're chopping, chopping wood in this game, yeah. You have to inspect the tree before you chop it. Yeah. Make sure it has a sprout. So you, then you gather the sprout after you inspect it. Depending on how many they are, roughly between 1 to 10, I believe, is the max I've seen so far. And then you replant the tree before you chop down the new one. So thus, you don't deforest yourself and you don't have any more wood laying around anymore. I can't. I can't split. I can't split the billets. Shift, left click, correct? Yeah. It's not working. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I don't know why. You just like, you gotta, you know, click on the very certain specific part. Yes. There we go. Oh my god, this is taking forever. Use bellows! Once you get um, some iron bars, we could totally do this up. You know what I could do? Well, I got this here. Let's put um, let's for mold. This is the, our next step here. Is we go to clay anvil, which is we need two water. So let's go get two water while we're waiting on this. Because we can work on the forge and anvil for next episode, which is a whole lot quicker, brr, brr, than the furnace. It also gets hotter. Yep. <sighs> Warning, you are overburdened. You're overburdened! This game is very, very cool. I like, I like the whole, um, I like, I like the whole complex tiered building stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I don't have to worry about mining for diamonds like in the first five minutes. I can friggin', you know, just mess around with little tiny shacks. I never have to go into the Bronze Age. Unless some jerk face comes over and starts killing me. Dropped him. What? I didn't know such thing. I didn't say you did. I just like saying your name in a very guilty manner. Why? Because I'm a jerk. I thought that was pretty clear. No, you're not a jerk. Clay anvil shape. Now for those of you who are like, man, this is not very much tutorial. It's kind of like a lot of tutorial in play. Like I said in the beginning of the series, that this is going to be predominantly a tutorial series. But there's going to be some gameplay in there because I like playing as much as I like teaching. You know what I mean? It's a good time. It's a good time. Yes, it is. It's a good time. Smelting, man, smelting, building, melting, smelting. Um, let's put you over here. Can I put this in here? I can. And it should bake up here shortly. Oh, what? I don't need that. I need the iron first. Holy moly, I'm going to need lots of billets. <laughs> Left clicking all over the place. <clears throat> there we go. And well, we'll make put... sure you put a whole bunch of the hardwood. That should last a little bit longer. Uh, yeah, it, it is lasting a while. But it's not lasting as long as we need to. What we can do with the hardwood, uh, and we might do this next episode with the furnace and anvil, where the forge and anvil is make a kiln where you can actually make charcoal which lasts a whole lot longer. Hmm. This song is infectiously addictive. Yes, yes. You know what I'm saying? It's oh, infectiously. Yeah. As a matter of fact, let's go over here and put the kiln in right ne right next to it. Kiln right there. Let's see, what do we need for a kiln? Oh, that's perfect. Look at that. It's right there. Perfect. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. And I swear I'm not going to end this episode until I have an iron bar. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. Yes. Because in order to make the metal bands, we actually have to use a forge and anvil. All right, I need 400 clay, 
and 30 wild plant fiber. So we can totally do that. That's going to be something I can gather up between episodes. 400 clay. And as you remember, clay is like a freaking kilometer and a half bazillion times the 100 over there. And yes, I did just make that up. Bazillion and a half times 100. That's, there we go. Uh, we can put one more of these puppies in there. And as you can see, it takes quite a bit of wood just to melt this down. Now these... I'm fairly certain that you only need four per, so we should get quite a few out of here. We should get, I think, 15 ingots out of here, which would totally be alright with me. But if it takes all 61 of those and gives me one, I'm going to freaking have a fit. I am. I'm going to have a fit. You don't even know. I'm going to literally pitch a fit. You think so what does the fit look like? What? You will <laughs> find out. It. You will find out, sir. <laughs> you will find out. Because it looks a lot like screaming with a red face, pulling your hair out, yanking on your clothes, running around in circles, slamming things on the ground. Oh. Crying. There's some crying. I'm not going to say that I'm, I'm too proud to cry. I'm not going to say that because I'm not. I'm a big baby. I'm a big baby. Okay. Big baby. Running around in circles. Yeah, that's the most important part. If you can't do that right, you shouldn't doing it right. You know what I'm saying? Mm. 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 All right. Iron and copper out of ore. Yeah, see, this is... Smelting is, is good early on. Smelting is pretty sweet. What I don't understand is... I better get like 48 for this on smelting. Right, right out of the gate. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I better get it. I'm not, I'm not kidding you. There we go. Oh, God! You know what? I'm going to go ahead and put down a cut here, and we'll come back when it's done. Oh my god, oh my god! It's quiet. It's, it's yellow. It's almost, it's like so close. It's so close. It's right there. It's right there. Touch it. I can touch it. You're going to burn yourself. Bellows makes it go faster. Oh, well. That might oh, help you up. I'm going to give you the bellows. Bello, 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 bello. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Make this, it too hot, then if this gets, If this, yeah, my kiln, or the furnace just explode, and I'll be dead to death. Come on! Do your thing! Do your thing! It's not doing its thing. Drops. I'm sorry. It's not doing its thing. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Just in case you didn't know, I'm, I'm recording, so I like to start talking about rashes and stuff. Come on! Does melt work yet? Nope. I cannot make anything useful out of that. I can't make anything useful out of that yet! It's gotta be so! Mmm, it's killing me. Fran is playing Counter Strike Global Offensive, just in case you wanted to know. Mmm. Nice. I knew, right? Holy crap! And as you notice, a lot of items, things that you can put things, have limits. Like, you can't put over 100 stone in here. No, 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 So, like, these are 20 or 20 or 10 apiece. And this is 61. Let's see if I can, let's see if I can put those in there. I can. I can go up to three. Oh, come on, bellows. Come on, bellows, bellows, bellows. Bellows, shit, the bellows. Do, 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 bellows. Let's do this. It takes a long time. I should have put in a whole lot less iron. I should have. Yeah, but you need all that iron. You need all that iron. Well, yeah, we both do. Can I make anything? I can't make anything useful out of it yet. I just, I just want it to do what I want it to do, and it's not doing what it's supposed to be doing when it's doing it. Go! I think it's done. I think it's done. Mount. Oh, yeah! Yeah! Mm. Iron bar. If it gives me one, it's fit time. 
I'm gonna auto craft. Okay. Alright. Okay. I gotta I gotta drop stuff. No, I may not have to drop stuff. It's giving me it's it's only doing one at a time. <laughs> That's good though. I can live with that. Let's move you over here. Okay. Alright, it's only giving me one at a time. This is good. This is good stuff. This is a good time. This is a good time. This is a good time. Oh god. I was so ready for this, you don't even know. Mm. It's just dropping iron bars everywhere. My guy is the sloppiest human being on the face of the planet. He's just putting things wherever. He just opens his bag and throws it in the back. Get in there. I don't even need you. So we have four... I should get 15 out of this. should totally get 15 out of this. Thank you for putting that all the way down there in Tokyo. Holy crap, man. This guy's a slob. And I'll show, we'll make an anvil next. Mm. Should be able to make at least one more. Master Metal Worker. So it did, it did bring me up to 60. It's like each one's giving me like 2.2 or some crap. Alright, proper ingredients. So let's, let's manage smelting building. All right, pull this over here, and we put one of these in here. Oh, this is not what I wanted to do. Shift click, split it, put this over here like that, and melt. Oh wait, I need to get another one. Shift, another one. I think I need two in there. Is it is it two or three? I don't remember. Okay, it's two. So we use the bellows. Use. The bellows. Use use the bellows. All right. Uh, one quick thing before I go. I did do this incorrectly. I got a little bit confused. Um, it's not bars that you need for your anvil. It's ingots. So I had to go do some more mining, do some more smelting, use up all kinds of wood. But we did finally get it. It is eight ingots in the clay mold, and then you get this. Right here when you click melt that'll be an option so this weighs like 60 stone <laughs> so i can't wait to use it and we will see it um next episode <laughs> but that's what i'll do in between episodes we'll get it set up and then next episode what we'll do is we'll make the we'll finish the kiln and we'll start to forge an anvil and i will go get more iron and junk like that in between episodes sounds like a plan YouTube never answers me when I ask that question. I just sit here and, for like an awkward moment, waiting for him to say something, anything. You know what I mean? Mm hmm Yeah, I swear. All right. I'll talk to you turkeys next time. Bye-bye. <gasps>